Hello and welcome to the second part of my complete Call of Duty playthrough on the PC. Again, the original Call of Duty. Um, Kickstart the series off. Um, you may remember that when we left the action, I feel like Richard Hammond now, um, we'd blown up the AA guns. And there was one outside of a house, chateau, stately home, whatever you call it, I don't know. So, now, we are going to, because I've always started this off in a previous recording where something happened, so I had to stop it. We are going to restart this level. It's in the Bavaria Alps. Now, MG42 on the left, so we're going to go up and we're going to take that bastard down. Price and Major Ingram, probably in the big house up the road. Martin, you take point, knock out that 42. Harding and Brooks, go get the truck. Everyone else, follow Martin. Move! in the hole. Good work, Martin. Everyone breathe deep, catch your breath. Now let's do it all over again. Aha, gotcha, you turd. on that. Communications and meet back up with us. Cheeky Jerry Sergeant Jim. Moody and I'll find Price and Ingram. You know what? Just to be on the safe side, I can have a grenade down there, right up the bum. Oh, 
Out my way, you silly donut. Go, go, go. Point them. The way everyone just buggers off and leaves you to it. There's a bunch of so and so's. Right, so. Where do I go now? Find the secret communications room, eh? I was going to need it, didn't I? I am Yuri Geller, except without his stupid spoon bending ability, which I swear he does beforehand. I think everyone else is dead. <laughs> well,
Good job. All right, guys, we're moving. Oh, yeah, on. now you all turn up. Well, where do we go then? Ah, oh, we do go through there. Yeah. Love your friend, don't know. and Ingram are behind these doors. Stand back, we're gonna blow them! Ooh, these bottles are plunk. Just to make sure. Goodness me, Americans! Made quite a racket, didn't you? That's quite all right. Uh, I can still walk. Captain Price, Captain Foley. Where's Major Ingram? They moved him to a camp. Not to worry, I overheard where. Let's back through here. Line them up and I'll knock them down. Oh, while you sort him out, I'll go up and I'll start clearing the way. Made quite a racket, didn't I'm nice like that. That's quite all right. Uh, I can still walk. Very nice, was it? Where's Major Ingram? They moved him to a camp. Not to worry. I overheard where. Have that. Shit! Be there! there. Trucks up front, sir. Excellent. Help Captain Price out the window. He's been hurt. Let's pile in. We're getting out. Captain, what about... He's hurt. More like we'll he's walking up. Like he's him. got piles. <laughs> Okay, Martin, we're about ready to ram the gate. Less than 10 minutes from your first shot to pull this off. If you take any longer, they'll be sending someone to rescue us. If you take out the front guards, concentrating on the machine gun nest. Got to take out the front guards. Once the gate is down, get in there and find the Major. Then rendezvous back at the truck.
yeah, okay, yeah, well, I'll take out all the guards, yeah. I do all the I do all the dangerous stuff, just like Eddie in bottom, okay, Mark, and you can sit you back like Richie in the, in the in the glorious uh, all knowing that you've done absolutely sweet fanny fucking Adams. Take out the front guard. <laughs> went as well as can be expected. Be shot at again until their hearts contain. Hey, cover me! 
Yanks! Now there's a spot of luck. Come to collect me, have you? Lead on, lads. No time for handshakes and hellos. Feeling this is the Operation Market Garden missions now. Gentlemen, thus far you've been training hard at Exit. <sighs> yeah. At least I think so, anyway. Yeah, I think it just shows up how much I have not. Play this game. <laughs> well, recently, anyway. I can't see the Bois de Bevon. Oh, for God's sake, Jack. It's the biggest forest in Normandy. Pay attention. Oh, hey, Jason Sayan does a voice in this. Oh, oh, perhaps they moved it. By my calculations, we're on course. We want to bank north in two degrees. In five, four, three, two, one, and bingo. <laughs> Oh my words. Words. You'd have thought that just by sitting down you'd be able to do this. Just do just do this. I'll be able to do this. <laughs> it was 2003, I suppose. Oh, All right, everyone, this is a brace for my now. I mean just the way that basically then the spectrum was coming to stream. In some ways the graphics aren't really that great on the spectrum. Everyone all right? Mills! Yeah, I'm fine. Just right. But no, let's go, let's go! Move, move, move! Come on! Sergeant Evans, glad you're still with us. We're in luck. The Germans haven't responded to our stellar landing. So I've got a Lee Enfield. To suppress their bunker. I've got a brain LMG. Your base of fire. 
So a machine gun that sprays things out, bullets everywhere, and a rifle that you have to have two, sh like basically two shots to take them down. Sergeant Evans, glad you're still with us. We're in luck. The Germans haven't responded to our stellar learning. Find a good spot to suppress their bunker. <laughs>
go back over. Yeah, it shows how long I haven't played this before. I can't bloody remember what the hell I've got. <laughs> Captain, we oh, salvaged the area. Apart from some supplies, all we found were a couple of rifles and several panzer fausts, which are woefully inaccurate. Thank God we still have that flat gun. We can use it to hold the bridge until our relief shows up. <laughs> my way.
what? We're going to do a quick save there. save it there and all I hate doing this
bomb. Have some of that. How you like that then, eh? Hey? 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 Last of them. Excellent work. <laughs> Bloody well done. <sighs> oh. I think that's probably the reason All why right, I haven't played this game for down. such a while. We've got new orders like straight that. from SOA, as well as two new All I can say is. Yeah, he guns at the top of the dam. Bang a bang. Sagen Sie 
den Kommandostab, wir greifen an. Verstärkung. Another one of those missions. Thank you. 
That now, were you?
I don't even remember if I'm going the right way or not.
Kontakt abgeschnitten. Seid ein Graf. Stellen Sie mit Ihrem Trupp die Verbindung wieder her.
I'm sorry about the cut out of the video. My phone just automatically cut out at an hour and six and 55 seconds. Apparently the SD card was full. Who knew? <laughs> anyway, anyway, um, just to reiterate, well, hang on a minute, let me, uh, there we go. That's better. Just about. I'm sorry about the light beaming down. It's like, yeah. <laughs> hang on. If I come over here or over there, <laughs> I'm not making people seasick. Um, anyway, yes. As I was saying while I wasn't recording, was that's the the, the end of the, the second part of the video. I'm sorry about the, the camera. This 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 picture being all, all fuzzy. It's not as good as the, the rear camera, but this is literally just a late addition to this. Um but uh yes, so part three will be coming. Excuse me. Part three will be coming um, during the week, if I get a chance to. If not, it'll probably be Sunday. Um, well, I just want to add a couple of things, literally. Uh, just a couple of pickups I did, because now I have another job, which I start on Wednesday. Excellent. Um, I picked up a Sega Master System off of eBay for 30 quid, including postage, um, from a charity that was doing an online auction. So I was happy to pick it up. I mean, I had a Master System 1 a few years ago, and I sold it along with all my games, which I wish I never knew, as I had some good ones like R-Type. I had, uh, where else that, where else that, where else that? Uh, I think I had the Lucky Dime Caper. I had Road Rash, Master of Darkness, um, which is quite a, a rare one, and I paid a couple of quid for it off of uh, <laughs> a boot sale, of all places. Um but yeah, I was really happy to get this one again for 30 quid. Uh, so it's the, the second, like the more compact one. So I need to do a, a mod or get sent away to do one because my soldering skills are shit. They really are. But the two games I got with it, which I was quite happy with, was the classic Robocod. That's better. Robocod. And also the uh, Master System version of Darius 2, which is Sagaya. So I was quite happy with them. Unfortunately, the control pad... It sometimes doesn't like going left and, and uh, up, left and up. So, yeah, you know, it's. Uh, yeah. So, but I sold quite a few things and I got these two from Retro Giant in Romford. So if you're in Essex, pay a visit to Retro Giant. They do have some good stuff in there. Some of it is a tad more, but it's nice to see a brick and mortar retro shop in Essex. Obviously, I know we've got Retro Trader in Leon C, which is another fantastic place. But it's nice to see another one. You know, hopefully there'll be more springing up all over the place. It's a shame they didn't have Amiga stuff, but um, I did sell a couple of Amiga games in there. You know, so hopefully they might start taking some more. But anyway, these are the two games that I've got in there, which are cartridge only. And one of them is The Ninja, which is one of my favourite Master System games ever. There we go. Oh, it's lovely jewellery. A little bit of sticker left. Cock. There we go. Sorted. Marvellous. Look at that. And also, the Master System version of Shinobi. I don't actually think I've got... Have I got Shinobi? I've got Shinobi on the Amiga, but for some reason I can't get to work. So I need... That's a repair job. But Master System version is actually really, really good. I managed to beat the uh, the first like the, the the first boss for the first time ever. So I was I was chuffed to bits with that. Another purchase that I made. I only wanted this for one video, but for the four of them, I actually got them for one pound ninety plus. I think it was three quid postage. So the whole lot for a fiver, which I was quite happy with. Now this is the video that I wanted it for. Lost in Space. The last time I watched it, I wasn't, I, I was like, oh, it is actually pretty crap. But I thought, you know what, give it another go. Watched it and I actually quite enjoyed it for its cheesiness and its bad acting from William Hurt, which I wouldn't have expected. A bit wooden, very wooden. And some of the special effects, especially on the, um, well, it's an old film now, so spoilers. Spoilers if you haven't seen it, but if you have, the special effects on the, Monster Smith, fucking awful. <laughs> they really, really are awful. Um, but the effects of the Jupiter Two and and the actual space itself are really, really good. I think the Jupiter Two was a model. 
you know, um, which, you know, it's, but it's, as I say, it's, it's a good film if cheesy and I just wish it didn't have that fucking space chimp in there. Anyway, um, for the second one, let me sort out the sleeve on this first. Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves, you know, with uh, Alan Rickman hamming it up as the Sheriff of Nottingham, possibly the best rendition of the Sheriff of Nottingham going, even taking into account the Disney version of a wolf, but or a dog or well, a coyote or whatever it is. I think it's a wolf. Um, but yeah, I mean, Alan Rickman just turns everything that he's into gold. I mean, Galaxy Quest best Star Trek movie ever made and it's not even Star Trek you know but he was fantastic in it you know it's just sad loss to well sad loss to everyone really because he was just fantastic next one Green Berets John Wayne I think this is probably my first John Wayne VHS I think yes it is I mean I the first time I ever watched this I didn't really go a lot on it um, I actually thought it was pretty boring but um, it was on TV over the weekend and um, put it on. I think I watched about 40, 50 minutes. Of it. I think I caught 40, 50 minutes of it. Um, and it wasn't bad, actually. It was it was it was all right. It was all right. It's pretty good. Some good battle scenes in it. Um, so, yeah, it's not a bad film. And the, the creme de resistance, the the um, piece of the creme. Shaving Ryan's Private, uh, Saving Private Ryan, and it's the uh, the, the lovely deluxe box as well. But nothing else in it apart from the tape and the little bit of plastic. I, I'm, if I remember correctly, it was it was a couple of years before Star Trek First Contact came in the box like this, and it had like a three D sticker over the top. So when you moved it, it turned. Um, I think it turned Picard into a Borg, and. It turned data into like the the where he has like the he's part of the his synthetic skin taken off and you can see like the underside like the the, the plastic skull and all that gubbins. So yeah, um, but no, all four of them for a fiver. Happy days works out one pound twenty five a tape. I'm happy with Saving Private Ryan. Probably my top five war films ever. You got that? Uh, uh, where Eagles Dare? Bridge Too Far. Um, great escape, and it's a toss up between the Battle of Britain and Kelly's Heroes. I think Battle of Britain might have to take it. Yeah, definitely Battle of Britain. So that's my top five. Waters. So, um, thank you very much for watching. Um, and you know, remember, please. Uh, like, subscribe, tell your friends, tell your postman, tell your milkman, tell your wife, tell your living lover, whatever. Um, you know, they, everything helps the channel. You know, I want to try and grow it. I want to, I want to start looking at films as well, doing like classic film reviews um, and and stuff like that. Um, I mean, if 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 even if there's a game that that you that you want me to cover, you know, please let me know. Let, let me know, comment box, you know, whatever, you know, carrier pigeon, you know, telepathy, just, just, you know, um, just, just let me know, you know, um, it's time to end. Thank you very much for watching. Um, stay safe, be well, and take care. Bye for now.